James, Richard has had a really, really tough run of it. Um, three of his most important relationships with Catherine, with Bailey, with Arizona have all imploded in the fa um, past few episodes. And what's it like to play him kind of lonely? Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, you know, R Richard has survived aneurysm, <laughs> panic attack, <laughs> electrocution. <laughs> these three to deal with. <laughs> I, I, I think he, I think he's kind of glad about the time. <laughs> <laughs> he needs a break. Yeah. That, is, yeah. that, is, that is a great answer. <laughs> uh, Ms. Allen, you have been part of many, many terrific series. I'm wondering what's so special about this particular <clears throat> set and this particular cast. I think what's really so special and wonderful about Grey's Anatomy is that and why the footprint of our fans explodes every week to week to week and is growing to a whole new generation is that it's about characters and people that are real. These are real life stories. Um, this rhymes in our writing staff. They comb the medical journals to get what is the new cutting edge, you know, medical achievement or not. Our actors are vested in their characters in a way and such a wonderful cast like nothing I've ever seen. And I've been a part of, yes, many shows from fame to a different world to this. But I have to say that Grey's Anatomy is saving lives every week. We we're, we're giving people something that they can relate to they believe these characters exist, our circumstances. But I, I got a text from a person just last week that said uh, her girlfriend was diagnosed with breast cancer. And the doctor had told her, you're fine, don't worry about it. But then she watched an episode of Grey's and saw the same symptoms and went back. And she was not good. And Grey's saved her life. So, I'm thrilled to be right in the middle of this, you know, tornado, this wonderful uh, on fire roller coaster. And that's what it is. It's a ride that you take that you can't wait to get back on when it's over. Every episode is new. Every episode is fresh. And I'm telling you right now, the end of this season is hot, honey, hot. <laughs> <laughs> Jessica, tell me what it's been like um, to play Arizona this season, sort of post Cali and entering a new relationship. Having to enter a new relationship. Um, I think it's. I, I think that it's been, it's been interesting. It's been new. I mean, I think that, you know, when you have a character um, like Cali, who is played by such an incredible actress for so many years. Um, and the partnership that you have creating this couple and this whole life is incredibly valuable. I think that um, then by the end of last season, there was a really nice um, point at which you could actually happily, hopefully, permit both of them to be happy without each other. And so when that happened at the end of last season, it created a really nice springboard for this season. And this season, I, I mean, I, I truly, genuinely, I don't know what was like going around in my head, but I, I got home one night and I turned on Netflix, which I hear a lot of people are watching the show from the very beginning from. And, uh, and I watched the pilot episode and then I watched the first episode that I was ever in. And I think that I did that because I wanted to watch the show that I fell in love with as a fan and what it was about that. Not that I could pretend to create the magic that was in that episode, but watching all the people that were in that very first episode and how magical it was for me as a viewer. And then I watched the episode that I was in because I knew that at that point I was trying really hard to create something new and create a character. And even almost eight years later, I am now in a situation where I am perhaps creating new relationships. And so at the end of a relationship that I was so grateful that so many people took so much stock in, I find myself at a point where there's something exciting happening for her. There's a newness, there's an... Oh, 
I'm like, me? What? What did I do? I know. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> no, she got a, Justin gave her her jacket. And they were saying, oh, but not for me, for her. She just totally, yeah, no, well, yeah, there we go. Um, anyways, so anyways, this season I feel like is the beginning of creating something new. And I feel like it's all just very optimistic and fun. And I don't think you get to go back to the beginning of things all that often. And there's something exciting about being in a new relationship and the anticipation of all of that. You, you think Minnick's the one? <laughs> is anyone but Callie the one? <laughs> I think that I think that we are so lucky. Um, I think that Marika is so much fun and so lighthearted, and it shows up. I think that you know she's been in scenes with every single one of us. Probably more scenes with you guys than me. Um, and there's just a real light and an energy, and and I think we're very lucky to have her. And I have yes. no idea if she's the one, but I think that it's been really fun. <laughs> um, Jason, I want to turn to you. What is the um, what is the one thing that you're um, still eager eager to learn about Ben? Wow, you know, um, well, I want to I learn a little bit more about who Ben was before he met Bailey. Uh, I mean, you know, he has a he had a brother who became his sister. Um, he, uh, and, and so he, he met this phenomenal woman who has a child, you know, and so she had this life that was moving, and he was this bachelor making bags of money for knocking people out for a living. <laughs> uh, and she inspired him to go back and change that all up. So I kind of want to know what, what started him off a little bit. And you were supposed to just be on for a couple episodes originally, correct? Yeah, I was supposed to hit it and quit it and be done with me. But, uh, <laughs> but um, for whatever reason, I, I got lucky and got to stick around for a minute. Okay. Uh, okay. I, 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 think, I think originally I was supposed to, that uh, Ben was supposed to do uh, Bailey dirty a little bit at the original thought. Oh. And then uh, that was my understanding. <laughs> and, the, and that I think the, the way I was told, Shonda went, nah. <laughs> I'm a change, and so, you know, seven years later or whatever. Um, Jerrica, we do know a lot about Stephanie's backstory, and I understand that um, you had some involvement in creating it. Yeah, um, I remember I remember going to the head writers and, and, and asking questions. You know, every, the, the, one of the through lines, not just, not just parent issues in our show, uh, but one of the through lines that makes our show so majestic is the fact that everybody is running from something and it's propelling the thing they're running towards. And I remember going to the head writers asking, what is the thing that Stephanie is running from? What is informing her journey? Uh, and we had a long conversation and I said, I have some ideas. <laughs> and um, my lovely cousin, uh, my, my mother actually, who's in the audience, she and I talked a bit about this as well. There she is over there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I remember talking, discussing it with my mother, and uh, and we, my mother mentioned my cousin and and uh, and her journey with her own sickle cell disease, and and my cousin was very graciously allowed us to um, to use that as inspiration for Stephanie's journey. <laughs>